Mathematicians, when they talk to one another, fundamentally they're trying to get some sort of synchronization of their brain, some state of flow where, you know, my mathematical understanding of the world interacts with someone else's mathematical understanding of the world. And we find that the blackboard is really the best medium we've ever found to create that, that state. The blackboards, we love them because this is really somehow critical to creating this bit of magic that happens when, when mathematicians manage to really communicate with one another. There is something very physical about it. You get chalk over you, you erase the board, you know, you get tired, you get sweaty. And in a way, you, you go through all the mental challenges that come from designing a correct mathematical argument. You know, it feels almost like you're, you're battling with the, the difficulties of the problem while on the board. Boards moving up and up, the sound of the boards moving up and down, the sound of the chalk, the smell of the coffee. Mathematicians can get pretty particular about which board they like, which chalk they like, uh, depending on how you tend to express yourself. Some boards maybe will be too fast, some boards will be too slow, depending on the friction. With a whiteboard, the speed is too fast. So it's, it's harder for the audience to keep up, it's, it's more easy to move away from the genuine communication into something that's more just a show. Certainly there's always something about, you know, we like a good piece of chalk. Like you just feel it follows you in your thinking. Beautiful chalks, you know, not only is it nice to write with them, but just the sound of them is pleasant. Like it feels fluid. And so somehow because the writing is, the, the visual is fluid, the sound is fluid, it also makes your reasoning more fluid. The blackboard keeps us honest. It forces us to, to talk at that speed, to really connect with the other people and you know, open ourselves to the possibility that someone will find a gap in our reasoning can make you reconsider things that you've been thinking about sometimes for decades. So there's, there's a lot at stake uh, in that communication. You know, my entire world could be shaken by the person picking out one symbol that I just wrote on the board. I have memories actually of very specific moments where a couple symbols were written on the board and I saw a lot of things that I would be doing in the next 10 years that would stem from that specific moment. So we kind of live for those moments. Sometimes the analogy I give is that it's a little bit like with a musician, you know, the computer-based presentation will be like someone pressing play on the computer on recorded music, whereas mathematicians on the board, it's like a live performance of that piece of music. And you know, the live performance might get messier than the recorded writing. Actually, it does all of the time, but there's something just very, very honest about it. And so the audience connects to that. There's a lot of things with the, the physical spaces that we have here that are modern and, and extremely helpful and pleasant and, and that we are very thankful for. There were a lot of discussions about what we wanted or didn't want in this building. That was the point that was absolutely consensual. No matter what the building would end up being, it needed to have uh, as many blackboards as possible. Uh, kind of a funny quirk of mathematicians to, to want that. So yes, if you walk through this building and you can very much tell whether you're on the mad side of the building or not, just, you know, with the blackboards around. That sense of being connected to a place where mathematics has been exchanged for a long period of time uh, and the blackboard having been that common thread across those generations, that's something that we all relate to 
uh, and that I think you'll find very few mathematicians who will be willing to, to let go of that. You'll find when you dig into the history that so much of the great innovations just came from connecting several mathematical minds. I would say without the blackboards, most of this conversation would not have happened. And without this conversation, most of these theorems would never, most of these results would never have been found. I mean, so many of these ideas just came from talking to other people, talking on a blackboard.